number 19 on the ACT math test. It says, what is the product of the roots of the equation x squared plus 7x plus 10 equal to 0? And in this case, we're thinking, what are factors of 10? So we could probably factor this. If you don't know a formula for product of roots, you would have to factor this. And the factors would be x plus 5 times x plus 2. In this case, uh, x plus 5 times x plus 2 is going to give us x squared plus 7x plus 10. And if we set each of the factors equal to 0, then you're going to have that x equals to negative 5 and x equals to a negative 2. So the product then would be negative 5 times a negative 2, which is 10. Now, sometimes they'll ask for the sum of the roots. And if they were to ask for the sum of the roots, then all you would do is to add the negative 5 plus a negative 2, and you get a negative 7. Now, for any quadratic equation where you have ax squared plus bx plus c, there is a formula that says the product of the roots is c over a. In this case, a is 1, b was 7, and c was 10. So c over a would be 10 over 1, and so the answer was 10. Or if they were asking for the sum of the roots, you could have done the sum of the roots is negative b over a. And in this case, you could have taken negative 7 over a negative negative 7. Actually, the, the sum of the roots would just be negative 7 because b is 7. b is 7. So a negative b would have been a negative 7 over a, which is 1. So the sum of the roots is a negative 7. So you have two formulas here for sum of the roots negative b over a and product of the roots is c over a.